So this week on Best Of, we are doing chicken wings. Mm. I'm Billy. I'm Lillian. And together, we are Billion. So we're at Nam Pen right now in Chinatown, and uh, yeah, this place is the king of chicken wings, and we're looking to see if we can dethrone them by checking out other places. But first, we need to be reminded of how good this place is. Now, chicken wings are different uh, compared to fried chicken, because fried chicken we're talking about thighs, breasts. Chicken wings is an actual wing, and the tip, and the drumstick. So the actual wing. So that's the difference between a chicken wing and fried chicken. So we're going to places where are just chicken wings. So here comes the food. I ain't never met a limitation. Hey, the plot in my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably. So I went on to WikiHow to see what they said about how you eat wings and this is one of their methods. They said to separate it and then do the tip first. I'm not typically a fan of the wing tip just because it's kind of weird. But they, now they said to separate the bones in between. Suck a bone off. And then with the other one, shove it in your mouth. When Lily and I were uh, dating, or we actually came here for the first time for wings, and she saw me eat a wing like that, she actually told me to stop. <laughs> I spat it out. Oh, even worse. Second method of eating a wing is just nibbling on it. There's a third way that my dad does it. I'm not gonna do it today because I don't have a knife. But he cuts his wing meat off his wings. In terms of how this makes us feel, eating these wings, it's like you can't have just one. It burns your fingers every time, but it's delicious, so you don't really care about that. But there's an aroma about it. It's like the fried garlic that's in the wok fried with the wings that makes this different. Like, no one can replicate this. It's crispy, yet um, juicy and, like, light, like, fresh. Yeah. 50 on the fire, sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. So with butter beef, it's not like butter on top of beef. We're talking about like a beef version of ceviche. And it's very acidic. It's very tender. Basically, yeah. Lillian just said that the beef melts in your mouth. And yeah, we love it here. That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, 
12 can't really stop shit So I'm still pushing like a mosh pit Ice dripping, think I'm hot shit In a yellow bucket with the mop stick I've been jugging jams like wholesale Everything must go sell Hitting bitches with the old well Need a hundred milli on the low scale On my worst night, I'm the best nigga Wouldn't mess with you, couldn't cap to him Homie spotted me like 700, brought 1100 right back to him If I can't do it, then it ain't real I just make dollars, I don't make deals I've been going hard in the paint still Blowing cush clouds till I can't feel like Ride with me if you ride with me you can slide. The wings here Are like a caramelized fish sauce It's different It has a sweet, crunchy, savory taste These wings are definitely like the definition of a good sweet and salty. And I'm a sucker for sweet and salty. Fifty on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like five fifty on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? Besides chicken wings, Didi Mao is uh, good for a trifecta rice plate, uh, which has a uh, chicken, pork, and an egg. I got their beef pho and plenty of noodles, super great. Yeah, a lot of meat too. Like we're talking about packed full of meat. They don't cheap out. So we're here at the Long Tail Kitchen in New Westminster, and a lot of you guys recommended their wings. So we're here to uh, try it. So thank you for you folks on Instagram and Reddit. Uh, let's go. Let's just do what you want to Please don't be polite Cause I like your attitude Let's forget about a curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head Is me and you Both speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you Our bodies need I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just Alright so let's do the wings first. Yeah? Oh shit, it's hot. It's like a chili fish sauce. Seasoning reminds me of the place next door, Reup. It has one of those like MSG flavorings to it, I think, where you want to be licking <laughs> your lips afterwards. The batter on these wings is sweet. Yeah. Like there's sugar on them. Yeah. Good recommendation, guys. The fish sauce for dipping definitely has a kick. It's like chili peppers. Yeah. You can see the flakes floating in there. That's really good. It's so good. All right, so we're gonna try the roti now. Nice and fluffy, like you don't really see roti this fluffy. And crunchy. It's so good. And its sauce is very chunky. The roti is different here because most places have layers upon layers upon layers. This is like maybe two or three layers deep. It's really airy. Mm -hmm. I think for me, both places eat not pan. Really? Yeah, they're both pretty good so far. In terms of similarities, maybe the wings here have a little bit of sim similarities to non pen, but. But then at the same time, they have similarities to Didi now because these wings are super saucy and like malty. Like sweet and salty, just like Didi Mel, whereas Non Pen only has one taste the whole time. Yeah, that's true. It's they're all very good. Like, but for our preference, I think there are wings out there right now that beat Non Pen. So this is a Patsy U beef, uh, basically wide rice noodles. Mm. 
It's not bad. It's good here. Nice and casual. They also serve beer. We make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now. Never let this end. For the thrill of it. We can have it, no regrets. We make out for the thrill of it. Mess around for the thrill of it. Don't stop now. Never let this end. For the thrill of it. We can have it, no regrets. All right, so we're at Showcase. Uh, downtown on West Hastings here and we are trying their soy ginger chicken wings and yeah my friend Tarek is the head chef here and he recommended that we try their wings because he believes that they have the best chicken wings in town so I am here and we are here we have guests with us as well <laughs> we have Sam and Ashley and baby Van <laughs> they are our first guests ever on Best Of, so we're gonna chow down and uh, yeah, let's see if these wings actually are the best. Saucy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They're good. Yeah. So far, the most like bar style. Mm -hmm. like. Has a nice crunch to it. Almost like a Korean fried chicken. Some of the places that you can find on Robson. These wings are on happy hour special, I think for seven or eight dollars. I will correct it here. <laughs> but you can get dark matter, a big glass of it for six dollars, which is a great deal. Yeah, that was a legit wing. It's a Should little we spicy. Ask what our guests think? What do you think? Really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I Very like good. how crunchy they are. And uh, Van really liked them as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's staring at me for more. <laughs> what do you think? Let's let's dip in the motoyaki mayo. Let's. Let's. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's good. <laughs> Was your uh, best of winner this week? Like in terms of who who did the best wing? Um, this week for me, it's impossible to pick a best of. All four places that we went to had amazing wings. They were good in different ways, but they were all excellent. Yeah. And I would go back to every place. I think that if you want a night out, you should go to Didi Mao for the vibe. Um, but if you're craving a good wing, to go everywhere. Yeah, that's. It, it was difficult for me as well. Like, we went to four different settings and four different types of vibes. So, every place had amazing wings where I'd go back again and basically, you know, lick off my fingers because the flavor was just so amazing. If I had to pick a winner, I'd probably have to say Didi Mao, uh, just because everything, like all around, they're they're just a great place to go to. So uh, if you like any of our videos, uh, check out any of the places that we've been to or want us to check out new places that you want to recommend us, make sure you tag us in your photos on Instagram uh, at bestof604 and uh, we'll be sure to give you a shout out next week uh, on our video. Um, but yeah, we're going to check out this week. All right, see ya.